The other uh, factor which is considered or which is debated is what is the risk of cancer with a CT coronary angiogram. Now we know all of us sitting here in this room are all across the globe majority of the people have a millisieverts, 3 millisieverts exposure to radiation. So, the more the millisieverts, the higher the risk of cancer that is the basic theory. But the CT coronary angiogram calcium score for that matter, now it is possible to do with 0.34 millisieverts and CT coronary angiogram with 2 less than 2 millisieverts also. That means, our year long exposure every year we are more exposed to radiation which is much more than a CT coronary angiogram. So, the risk of cancer development with this is 1 in 50,000 patients the ex excess risk and we avoid CT coronary angiogram when we are very sure especially in young females between 30 to 40 years when the suspicion is not strong we avoid CT angiogram. But simple calcium score which is less than the radiation dose of a mammogram is now recommended. So, in young people or when the suspicion is not strong, when the patients do not undergo, do not want to undergo for CT angiogram, what we do is a calcium score and a stress test. A combination of these with the risk factors, with the symptoms, with or without symptoms, then we come to a judgment whether the patient is likely to have coronary disease or not.